question and thank you for sharing your um, winemaking experience with us today. Bonjour Eglantine, it's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, <laughs> Bonjour. So Christian, you have been doing wine for 35 years all around the world, right? Yes, I was lucky to be born in Burgundy, work in Champagne, in the Loire Valley, Rhone Valley, and I uh, did some work in New Zealand, actually for 10 years uh, over there, and Argentina, uh, South Korea, for the, uh, helping for the Olympics, in Germany as well, and of course in, in California. So I have uh, seen quite a bit of different area, wine, wine areas of the world. I imagine quite a bit. Um, so, and you've been also elected the winemaker of the year in 2017. So, are you willing to share some of your tips with us today? Of course. Uh, and to me, well, the first thing, of course, is uh, vineyard health, vineyard quality, mm -hmm. of course, size. Uh, that's extremely, extremely important. And uh, obviously, the experience. And next, I would add to it the having good good choices of enological product. There is so many different things you can use. And there's one particular product that I think uh, La Motavier offers to the Californian market, which is an excellent product. It's a new soft tan, the, the tan that you sell. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've known uh, the product for quite some time because I'm from France and uh, La Motavier is one of the oldest, the oldest in fact. Yeah. Uh, winemaking supply for, for winemakers uh, available and uh, so I, uh, I know actually many uh, French winemakers have used this product and we pretty much use a soft tan on all of our red wines this year from the very high end to the lower end with very good success and, and the reason I think that they were very successful with the product is I like with the tan and dust in the wine it will structure, it will get more volume to the wine uh, you, you, the meat palate is a little bit fuller and you don't have any of the negative impact of some of the tannin rings uh, undesirable flavors, aromas to the wine which uh, and I've tried many many over the years at least 20 and, and, uh, and I think yours is superior to the others because it really brings what I'm looking for into the tannin which is once again the structure, the, the richness, the fullness, uh, color stability without the negative effect so uh, the way that we, we used it this year, on all our wine, on every red varietal except Pinot, we had 250 ppm a crush. Okay. We did Cominac, all those varietals, so by the time we go pressing, the mallow is pretty much done and the RS as well. And then we reevaluate, and before we go to barrels, we typically add another 50 to 100 parts, so from 250 and now 300, 350. That's actually what I think works with the wine, is that, you know, really making the wine a bit fuller, which and you lose some, obviously, during the fermentation, so we may, we may lose 50, 80 parts, so at the end, uh, it's a little bit less. For the Pinot, we we, uh, we work mostly with Santa Cruz Mountain Fruits and the Etna Valley, Arroyo Grande, some of the very best vineyards in the state. So I typically use 200 ppm, just to, once again, improve the structure, eliminate some of the proteins during fermentation, and then uh, we do not co I like the Pinot to stabilize the color first. Mm -hmm. And then February, March, we reassess and made another 50 to 100 parts to whatever needs needed. So, so yeah, it worked, worked really well. And uh, I used many of, uh, different tannins uh, from the other companies. And um, once again, I'm not endorsing your product. You didn't pay me to say those things. It's really Thank something you. that I, no, really it's something that I wanted to do with you. That, yeah. A video because I think it's an awesome product and really it, it can help winemakers to craft better wine. So I just wanted to share that. And uh, you have other product, but for today, uh, this is my favorite. And uh, thank you for letting me talk about it. And uh, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you, Christian, for sharing this with us.